Welcome fish lovers to Sax Tanks, Crazy Aquarium Guy. Today's video is a fish store tour. So I, I have been putting off, off this video for a long time now, but I'm gonna do it in three parts. He has a lot of stuff and I really want to stand by each tank and look at them when they are beautiful. And he has about 180 tanks. And he was also cleaning the tanks that I uh, wanted to start with today. So I kind of went with a third of the store today. And next time we film a lot of African cichlids. And last time we filmed all the, uh, the more common fish or tropical fish, community fish. So this will be part one of a three-part series so hopefully you will enjoy it and um, yeah it's a really awesome store and that's the guy that I can call and get pretty much ever whatever I want from and he doesn't he doesn't care about money all the time because a lot of the times I want one fish or five fish and he needs to pay shipping and uh, yeah he doesn't he doesn't earn a lot of money on me right now because I only order stuff that is unusual that he doesn't need to order for the store so sometimes he has to order uh, at least 20 of a fish and I want two of them because they're gonna be a big fish and he does it anyway so I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video to his web website and uh, yeah and his store is called the aquarium vault so that's a really cool name, cool name. and it's been a vault for many years but I'm not gonna talk a lot about that now I you just want to watch the video I hope you stay for the whole video and yeah and if you're new to my channel welcome and check out my other stuff because I have a lot of good information in my channel at least I think so <laughs> so have fun guys so here is the big tank in my local fish store oh you're not he asked me if we could put in some food, and of course, why not? So this tank holds Princess of Burundia and Trophius. And that is it, I think. Like they really spawn and love it in here. And that is the shrimp mix he, make him, he makes with the gelatin himself, of course. And those huge cryptoform plants that, that I can never get because they grow super slow and nobody wants to sell them this tank I actually grew up and this tank has been here forever like 25 years and you can see over there 3000 liters it's about 800 gallons so as big as the tank that's quarry gonna have soon then you get the idea really beautiful tropius pieces in here and the one uh, the, the ones with spots on them they are baby tropius in time the spots go away and they become black with yellow stripes instead So this is a tank that I'm 100% gonna build when I get a house. Who doesn't like the look of that in the living room? Sorry about the glare guys, but it looks pretty good. You can see how much Tanganyika cichlids 
they are in here. And it also has a bunch of um, <laughs> shell dwellers in the corner here on the bottom. They're trying to defend the area, but they don't care about that. They're still eating about that, of that huge tube. So I think it's uh, some back to nature uh, backgrounds and also a lot of DUI backgrounds. And like I said, this tank has been going for like 25 years. Looks awesome. <laughs> They're just following the food like crazy. So I promised you guys I would show you from my favorite fish tour sometime. And this is it. It's gonna take a long while to make uh, videos about the whole pole store. But I think I will do them in, as in episodes. Maybe every month I come down here and we do two of the three racks and then we do the holding tanks he has a lot more tanks big tanks showcase tanks and then we can do an episode of all the regular and commonly known fish or i will make a super long video but i think only the really geeky fish nerds is going to watch a video that it's one and a half hours but or maybe two hours we'll see but this tank is awesome a couple of thousand tanganyika cichlids in a huge tank and I'm gonna ask him for the filtrations he has in here of course and I will also be leaving a link in the description because this guy actually have a website now so I can leave it in the description so you can buy things from him he's not he knows what he's talking about so when you maybe you can order some of the rare stuff that you can't get from somebody else this guy has been in in this business for 35 years <laughs> Just put in another piece of food. Well, we're definitely not cyclops today. Nice. Who <laughs> doesn't want that tank in your living room? just the ability to buy fish for a long time if I know myself I wouldn't buy fish all the fish at once I would have a tank that's never gonna be filled and these here tried to take this princess of Burundi Burgundia I think I'm pronouncing it wrong you know what I mean he been trying to take them out for a long time but they keep hiding and even though they empty the tank and think they got them all were like 10 or 8 left so <laughs> they were still surviving so and that was like two or three years ago and now we, we have a huge amount of them again And the shell dwellers. 
cool if you have a really big tank you can have shell dwellers as well you can just put a piece or a small corner that they can defend and they will live there and spawn as well sorry about the glare like I said it looks a lot better in person but do what we gotta do this video comes out in such a bad shape that I really think I should do it again I will ask him to turn on, tur turn on all the lights in the whole store and then we can just film this tank but I think it looks pretty awesome have the frontosas they're not pretty big now not super small either but if you know how big this beast of a fish is going to be so you have to know that before buying them <laughs> but I always want them but I need a big tank because I want to have like 40 of these and then you're probably gonna need a tank like the wall I showed you earlier here we have some other type of frontosa, uh, just smaller. I think they're all from the different part of the lake, and or well, maybe this is just fry. Wait a minute, what is that beautiful one? Looks like salt water color on him. I'm gonna ask to buy that one. Looks phenomenal. What do we have here? Here we have some rare shell dwellers. I say rare when I don't know the name. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but these are really good looking shell dwellers. Maybe I want a couple of these someday. Really cool color. And you can see the snail shells over there. Awesome looking shell dweller doesn't even look like a cichlid almost looks like an combined with some other fish some snake fish look really cool nice colors and this tank usually holds axolotls but I think they are out so row number three Row number two, obviously. Also, some kind of shell dwellers and Julius Transcriptus Gombi. Yeah, I'm not gonna pronounce the names of African cichlids well. That's not my thing. I don't know much about them. But I just wanted to show you a lot of them because the specialty for this store is African cichlids. It's the biggest one in Sweden with African cichlids and here we have classic shell dwellers the same as Yowie DUI have they also look pretty good super healthy and I think still thinking about buying these and breed them for profit because you can get a lot really fast and he mixed in some other Tanganyikan cichlids, uh, lime spot longola, something. I'm gonna read the science because I don't know anything about African cichlids, but I really like them. And here we have some fish. I, now he has a lot of this fish and no t tags, <laughs> so. Yeah, you cichlid, African cichlid lovers from Victoria Lake and Tanganyika can really, of course Malawi as well, but I know a little bit more about Malawi cichlids. You can write in the name and help me afterwards, please, in the comments. 
And this fish is usually something he, he gets in from a customer that is tired of the hobby or that fish, uh, type of fish is angry towards the other fishes. Here we have the Dubois Tanganyikan tank. Some more small of this shell dweller. And this Tropius that hasn't been getting the best color. Maybe uh, this is also a customer comes in and leave them here. Do you compare them to the Dubai's that he kept in the big tank? You can really see that his was a lot better color on his one. But he's pretty good at this as well. So I wanted to show you now. This is discus. We have cobalt blue, red turquoise, dark angel. Uh, snake skin blue. And he only keeps Stanker discus. And these are huge. My biggest one is a lot smaller than that one. Maybe I, I, I will add a Dark Angel someday because I think they look pretty neat. Hopefully the audio in here <laughs> doesn't take away everything that I say because I speak so low. So hopefully I won't destroy the whole video. Here we have some uh, solid turquoise checkerboard. No, no checkerboards are not here now. He sold them all. But uh, pigeon blood. That's why they get always confuse me. This is a pigeon blood. And a Marlboro Red almost looks like that Pigeon Blood, but this Pigeon Blood has, you see the beginning of the fins and under on top of it and underneath it, it's going to Pigeon Blood. And my cichlids at home are Pigeon Blood Red and Marlboro Red and Checkerboard. And the Checkerboard and the Pigeon Blood Red is actually so close see <laughs> how they look so I don't know maybe we, we can see the huge difference when they are fully grown I really like this one I always like solely turquoise I think they look pretty neat I think this is the guy that lived with my guy before I took him so I'm leaning on taking this brother with me but I'm gonna wait for a while because I'm gonna wait long enough to find a perfect one. And blue diamonds, who doesn't like that one? These are all stentier discus. That blue diamond doesn't seem happy, but it's super beautiful, so hopefully he feels better. I really like him to get his st stentier discus and then have them for like a month. And you will think. A month is a long time. People would come in and buy them. No, no. At these prices, it's really rare to sell a lot of discus. And the people who want discus really bad and knows a lot about discus, they usually order uh, exactly what they want, the exact amount that they want. So I can do that and still get pretty fish. But this guy, no, I think that guy is the guy, my pigeon blood. Yeah, he's growing a lot faster in here. So you see, you give them a lot of good food. Not, nothing wrong with that. This is the brother from my pigeon blood. And of course mine gets Mine got stuck with some parasites and almost died, but uh, I mean, as you can see, everything's good with him, so there was something I did. 
when I mix them with wild caught fleckles probably. Uh, so we're gonna go low yet again. Yeah, in here I know he keeps the tank that he takes fish from people that wants to get rid of them of some reason. So we just put him in here. I don't know what these are at all. But this one had pretty great colors. <laughs> Doesn't want to show you show me his side. Oh, I, I can actually see his teeth. So that's okay. Maybe some rookie put this one in a community tank and he eats everything because he has pretty huge teeth. You can see them. But it looks great. So, the last rack for this video. I'm gonna do I can talk about that later. Look at this beautiful fish. I don't even know what that one is. Is it some hybrid with new colors? Because they look good. Some Bosmanis. Pretty big in size. And of course the fish that all, all YouTubers YouTubers have currently not all of them but a lot of them and it's a beautiful fish for sure really like that one and I ask about what I can keep them with they look great maybe try to keep those with dragon puffer is he really that tough that he's gonna eat two big cichlids I don't know. Depends how much he wants for it. If they're super expensive, then of course I won't. They are looks really good. I really want them. Oh, I cut the video here. And some dwarf gourami also. A really nice fish for small tanks. People really, I really think people should look a lot more into dwarf. Uh, Gouramis, they are great fish, not that that ex uh, aggressive, and they keep mostly on the top uh, column of the water. So you can have fish uh, tetra swimming in the middle, corridoras laying on the floor, and all of these guys will stay on top. Then you have fish in all water columns, and that will be a great tank. Okay, I can also show you the plants because he always has a lot of good looking Anubias plants. Look at the size of them. And this of course Microsorums, also very beautiful. Anubias Petite Nana, looking super good. I always buy my Anubias from here because they are a lot bigger than anywhere else. Pet World, as I usually buy all my other plants from. Sure, they are good, but you don't get this amount for the same money. These are huge. But not a lot of other plants today, so... But I can film the plants now. And show you. These are some huge spider wood pieces. Some rock pieces and a bunch of logs more rock you can choose from this looks pretty cool almost look like a dragon or something i'll put it like this bunch of opportunities to do an aquascape but i won't gonna show you i won't show you the whole video in one video because there's the big tank tank again because I think it's a lot more fun to make more videos. These are the nano tanks. It's the same ones I use at home, but he has the smaller version. I think the smaller version is about five gallons, four and a half, maybe. 
cool looking guppies. But I hate when they have some rips on the fins because then I don't know if it's that fish doing that to them or if they have something. So I can't buy those, but they look pretty good. And this for people saying you can never have a tank because I don't have the space. I mean, this tank literally is super small. And nowadays you can get a lot of cool nano fish and shrimp. So, buy a tank tomorrow and <laughs> just get started. Now actually, if I would tell a person to get a new tank if they have never been in the hobby before, I pretty much told them to get a 50 gallon. Because it's a lot easier with them. Here we have a brown, brackish water with some nano fish. Also looks good. A shelf of that. And he also has his room. And he builds these came in boxes and he always build them up because then people can watch them, take them home. Don't do all the work, just start doing the aquascapes immediately. And I think that's a smart idea. And people can look how beautiful they look now. And this Jubel series that I have a few of, they have started to make LED lights that comes with. Because with Jubel you get the inner filter, the inner filter media, the stamp that is actually improved also. Sorry guys. So my phone died there, so I had to go and recharge it. So I just wanted to show you all the people in Sweden and Denmark and Germany. They can still buy those tanks and they are working pretty good for me. Not pretty good, really good. And now with this new design. This is a cube of, uh, what is it? 200 liters, you can look it up, you Americans with your hard system, <laughs> but he has a lot of tanks and it's nice to, that he builds them together, That's I'm, I've been here a bunch of times and bought a tank just because I didn't want to build it together, I just want to take it home and take fish home and start everything at once, I wouldn't start buying the fish the same day anymore but people still want to do that so they have a whole Saturday of do, making doing stuff so it's a smart idea to do this I would actually love to buy this tank it's about 80 gallons and you can hide the filter inside that piece of log in the middle so and it's an octagon I think so, really cool, really big tank. So, and these are just the tank he's gonna sell pretty quickly. So, he has <laughs> a lot more to choose from on his website, of course. This is gonna sound like an infomercial, but I'm doing this just as a, just as a favor to him because he helped me a lot with stuff through the years so I'm gonna leave a description he actually has a website and you can go and find him there and through that website you can call him if you live nearby and ask him or have some some aquarium shipped to you it's pretty cheap at shipping aquariums too this is the only salt water tank in the house and that is because there's no market for it right here. He tried it through the years, but maybe he gets one customer every three months that buy something salt water. So then he can just order in that for him and yeah, have this going. And it's a lot more to film, guys, in here. 
Should I do it? Or should I wait a little bit? Now, this will be part one, and I can do three parts then. But pretty amazing store. We still have these big tanks to look at in the next video. We have two bigger roads of tanks that I did go through. Uh, to the right and to the left, we have uh, four rows of fish that we haven't even looked at today. So it's a lot more. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't.